what is behind me. Uh, that's a coyote head, if that's what you're asking about. There's a stuffed coyote. There's an antique uh, dental model uh, framed. And that's a poster of um, like a print of a uh, plague doctor. Okay, so um, to go back to the beginning, stop calling myself a lunatic. Now, I realize that for most people, they add negative connotation to lunatic. Um, but it does not bother me. Also, any label that I accept, like I'm Canadian, I'm a man, I'm... Someone wanted to say I was a punk. Sure, I'm a punk. I'm... Um, I'm crazy, bipolar, lunatic. None of those labels limit me the way they do other people. Um, the same way that I will answer to, do I believe in God? Uh, I'll answer yes, but then say, I don't know what God is, um, that I'm still searching for that and I'm open-minded. I would say the same thing about insanity. Am I a lunatic? Yes. On the other hand, I don't know what exactly that is. I don't assume it's derogatory or necessarily an illness. Um, as far as all, I prefer the word lunatic greatly to the term mental illness. I find that uh, much more disempowering. Although even that, if someone were to say to me, are you mentally ill? And I'm aware that that's how they frame it. I will just say, yes, I'm bipolar. But I don't accept the same meaning to that label. Um, and so as far as like having a haircut that people are more comfortable with, um, I don't see in any way why I need that. Uh, for one thing, and I don't know how much you know about me, but I am just some crazy hermit. I live completely cut off from the world. It really doesn't matter to me too much what uh, people think of my appearance because I barely interact with anybody at all. Um, as far as the haircut I have, uh, really the only person that it matters to me what I look like to is my wife and my wife likes it. Um, yeah, sad guru uh, and people promoting becoming your true self. Uh, yeah, I, um, I've listened to a bunch of his stuff. Uh, I love the pursuit for the higher self, and uh, absolutely. Um, yeah, and nothing that I call myself is anything you said, stop calling myself things I'd rather not be identified with. I have no problem being identified with other lunatics. I have no problem being identified with any of the things I call myself. Uh, what's wrong with lunatics? I love lunatics. And then to say not to listen to Sam Harris... Um, I totally respect that you don't like listening to Sam Harris, but I love listening to his thoughts on things. And um, also, that's not where I got any of my ideas about free will not existing. It's that uh, when I encountered Sam Harris, I was like, hey, fuck, great. Somebody articulating this really well. Um, and yeah, until we know what consciousness is, uh, whether we have a soul or not, it absolutely is all speculation. And I don't feel like I'm right about anything. I'm aware that I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what I am. I don't know what this place is. And um, so it's about how do I interact with the world uh, from this place of uncertainty. Okay, Grizz says lunatic labels wards off the people who couldn't hear you anyway. Um, absolutely, yeah. Anyone who doesn't any of what I said negatively, like, hey, I'm glad you're here. And if you don't like the word lunatic, if you don't think Sam Harris's ideas are good, like, that's perfectly fine. I'm not pushing anything on anyone here. And so there may be other discussions you'll enjoy more because I could also take the other side of this completely. We'll definitely have discussions about becoming your true self. Also, discussions about how labels limit us are fantastic. That could be something really worth discussing more in depth. So uh, to We Are Victorious, we can have different outlooks on life and see things differently and still love and appreciate each other. But yeah, I agree with you, Grizz, that uh, lunatic, uh, the use of that word probably, because I don't want to waste anyone's time. 
And it's perfectly fair for someone to say, why the fuck should I listen to this guy, Mercury? Um, he's insane. He's a heretic. He's, you could say all kinds of stuff. And absolutely. Um, I don't want anyone to listen to me who doesn't want to. And I'm not presenting myself like someone who should be listened to. I'm not telling anyone what to think or what to be. I'm just sharing what I think and what I am. Um, also, uh, because of the comment on appearance here, um, that does tie into something that Peterson actually says um, in part of Peterson's whole thing about sorting yourself out. And I think perhaps it's part of the self-authoring. You plan the various parts of your life. And he said, you should plan your appearance. And he talked about how by wearing a suit, you're sending a signal to people that you're playing the same game as everyone else. And when he present, like whenever I heard him talk about that, I did think to my own appearance, even though I barely interact with the world, I thought on that. And to be honest, like the way I dress pretty much started when I was like 12, I got into like punk and metal and stuff. And I was very much drawn to these subcultures and looking back on it now, I think for a lot of people who physically mark themselves out as different. So people who get a lot of tattoos or piercings. Now there can be a conformity aspect for sure. And there's all of that, but what drew me to it. And I think what draws a lot of people, or at least back in my day, when I was a kid, what did draw a lot of people to punk was something's wrong with the world that the part you're supposed to be playing and that it's taken for granted that you will follow through on didn't fit with me. And I just jumped into punk because I liked it. It was reacting to the sense of meaning, reacting to, you know, like any kid, I didn't think deeply about any of this shit. So I still dress largely like I did as a teenager. But when I did think on it, um, after Peterson, appearance affects the world. Um, I thought on it and decided that I still like the appearance I have because if I were to dress, and I mean, I don't go out into public often at all. Um, I'm very much cut off from the world. But when I do go out into the world, because of my appearance, people do not expect me necessarily to react normally. People approach me often with a sense of they're not sure how I will react. And since I am very different from the average person, I actually like the way it um, creates some uncertainty. And in fact, I feel like if I were to get the clean cut look, get the most normal haircut, wear a suit, if I didn't have visible tattoos, like obviously it's too late with this hand, but if I didn't have any of that and I dressed perfectly normal, that feels like false advertising to me because people would expect I'm playing the same game as everyone else, and I'm really not. Mm -hmm.